Hello friends. Happy Thursday. Right, let me just invite peoples. Okay. Oh! Hang on, my phone's moved while I press the invite button. Hello, hello. I am, as you know, as a business trainer that specializes in uh, social media, one of the things I do a lot, <laughs> a lot of, is taking um, selfies. So, if you own a business at all on social media, you will have heard me say a zillion times you need to show your face. I know it's uncomfortable, but you won't sell anything if you don't show your face because people want to be able to interact and get to know you. Now, not only for businesses, but hello friends, um, for anyone that really takes selfies, I want to give you a few tips because it still bewilders me that people still do these things. So I thought, and the people that follow me, you guys, so I thought I would just do a quick training on how to take a good selfie and some tips that maybe you haven't thought about. So you know how Lauren has like all these crazy qualifications? I'm actually a qualified photographer as well. That is one of my things that I did a long time ago. I, I did it with a digital SLR like 10 years ago maybe. Um, so phones... <laughs> Phones are a little bit um, different, but I'm going to show you just a couple of angles and a couple of things that will help. Just let me finish inviting these people. Also, like usual, um, I really, really, um, really, really need you guys to share this. So if you have a team, if you have any friends, or maybe you just want to teach your friends on your so on your social media platform how to take good selfies and a few tips, please share this um, and comment and interact for me as well because that absolutely helps. Now. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Even if you're watching the replay, drop a one in the comments for me if you think you're pretty good at taking selfies and drop a two if you're like, ugh, it scares me. I always look fat in them. I look horrible in them. My skin looks funny. This looks funny. Um, now, I use filters um, when, when, it, when it needs be, when it needs to happen. If I'm having a crap day and depending on what I'm doing, I do. I have no problem with filters. However, you will always, hello, friends. You will always hear me say, um, to show your authentic self. So especially when you're doing lives, we don't, I don't like all of those extra filters on when you're doing lives. Um, but sometimes I will use a filter depending on my mood. But I want to teach you a couple of things um, that can help you. Hello, Kayleen. Um, can actually help you with taking um, a selfie. So I think you guys all know, I'm just going to drop a few tips because it's things that I've picked up that drive me bonkers. Now, you'll notice whenever I'm live, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of always like in this area, in this space. The one thing that um, drives me bonkers with people's selfies is the background. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a few things here um, to do with like natural lighting. So, and I'm going to teach you a couple of things. So I'm in my bedroom, which has washing all over it, right? This is real life. So I'm going to show you good and not good. So I want you guys to all imagine that I'm taking a selfie now and I want to show you something, right? That's my selfie. What would you see in that? All I see is my messy bedroom. Hello friends. Can somebody drop me a comment because comments aren't coming through? Um, all I would see is, you know, that, right? Whereas if I'm to go over here, it's a little bit better, right? always look at your surroundings. Now, here's the thing. The second thing I'm going to show you, even though that looks better than having that in the background, did you guys notice that the lighting is better here for my face? The lighting is not great over here for my face, okay? A couple of things. Always make sure you don't have a window behind you. Oh, good. I'm glad you love this. Um, you don't have a window behind you, okay? Because all you guys are seeing there is the glare coming in. This is why we're in my bedroom doing this. If I close this, right, doesn't that look better? It just looks like kind of like, hello, we have this beautiful portrait background with no lights coming in there. And all I am getting is the light from the front. Now I'm gonna show you something else. I hope you guys are loving this selfie training. Um, let me flip my camera. Oh, they've moved the button. Hang on, it's around here now. So this is my big window looking out, right? See my big window? That's what I'm using at the front of me. How do I flip it back? They've just moved the button on me. Um, so when I see how when I come here, I'm actually stepping into my window, whereas where I step back, see the difference in my face? I'm not getting the shadow because I have an eave over the top of my 
veranda, okay? So while that might look good because there's nothing behind me, I also don't have great lighting. So I might want to like step through here a little bit more. But now look what's happened. I've got shadow on my face, right? That's because I'm on an angle to my window. Whereas if I'm square, I have no shadow, right? But look at this behind me. Can you guys see all this? Is this making sense? So what I would be doing is closing my bedroom door. And now we have that. Okay, so that's kind of like the perfect position there. My face is in direct um, light. The background doesn't have light coming in from behind. There is no messy clothes on the bed. So that is kind of perfect, okay? So I hope that taught you a couple of things. Um, now, when you go outside, it's kind of the same. Let me show you outside. We'll go outside anyway, and I'll show you an outside one. Now, if you're right into tech, because I used to, because I was a makeup artist for so long, I used to have to take a lot of clothes. Did you see the difference in lighting when I stepped out here? Right? That's because I have no window in front of me now. I'm using natural lighting. So while I'm a big fan of um, ring lights, there's nothing better than natural lighting. So you can't, um, depending on where the sun is, is another thing as well. I'm not even going to go into that with you guys. I hope you guys are loving this. Um, so right here at the moment, right? Good lighting. Okay, background's not too bad until my dog realizes where I am, and that's kind of pretty good. However, if I step forward a little bit more, a teeny, teeny bit more, can you guys see now you're getting that reflection? See this? We don't want that. We don't want any sun on our face at all. Step back a tiny bit, and it's good. You can always use walls like this at the back as well. Right? But... What can you see in this that may not be great? Even though my face is in a really good position, what is not the best? I will wait for comments. I'm going to assume you guys have all gone, oh my God, it's this pipe. We don't want that in the background, yuck. Ooh, right. Likewise, here. See, selfie, that looks fine. That does not, why? That does not look great. It's sitting on top of my head. And this does not look great here because we have half a window. So that is your, um, oh, there's one more tip I can give you as well. It's to do with positioning. Okay, so we've gone through um, background. We've gone through um, lighting for natural lighting. I want to show you camera positioning, okay? Let me take a selfie like this. Right. Number one, you can see straight down my top. Um, but look at the difference in my face if I angle up my camera a little bit to just above me there besides forget background we're doing a posing right now friends do I not look thinner now I am just at arm's length so my camera is actually a tiny bit raised from where the position of my head is okay so my head is kind of like this much lower than the camera not these ones they just look crazy. I see so many girls do this and they do lives like this as well, um, unless they're cooking or something, but it's like straight down the top and you can look thinner, but I feel like you look crazy. So just about this much higher than your head and then that is your position there. You're welcome. I hope that helped. Like I said, guys, um, I keep doing all these free trainings for you guys um, if you love it. So I need to see commenting, I need to see interaction um, and I also need to see you guys sharing them. If you have teams, um, if you have, if you're in direct sales network marketing, you never need to ask my permission to share it. Um, please just share away so we can help as many people take as many selfies as possible.